Good morning, everybody. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am very um, have every high honor and uh, privilege to be on behalf of the Ministry of Planning and Investment uh, to address to this uh, important seminar for our India uh, Chamber of Commerce and uh, uh, Lao National Chamber of Commerce to organize the uh, business to business uh, um, kind of the discussion of the potential of investment and trade in our country. <coughs> I just uh, listened to the finer that uh, I think is very uh, high potential, you know, organization to encouraging the India uh, uh, investor not only uh, from the northern part of India to be, uh, you know, investing in our country, uh, but others we can find on others uh, uh, mutual and benefit uh, together uh, among us. So, <clears throat> one thing that I would like to uh, address in this uh, uh, seminar is that the government has assigned the Ministry of uh, Planning and Investment to prepare very important document for the further uh, uh, economic development in our country. Uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, development vision to the uh, 2030 and strategy of uh, country development to uh, 2025, and we are preparing also the third document is called uh, National Social Economic Development uh, Plan, uh, the five-year plan, uh, the eight five-year plan 2016 to uh, 2020. Uh, just yesterday we have discussion with the expert from the World Bank. Uh, they see that in the region still have uh, you know uh, stable growth in the, in the in this region and. We also uh, consider that our development in the midterm period uh, will keep the um, you know high high growth. Uh, uh, the uh, average is about uh, seven to eight uh, percent annually. So I think this is uh, very really interesting for you because uh, we have uh, uh, more stable uh, growth in this region uh, for a long time uh, for the decade that we. Uh, uh, reaching that, that high growth. Uh, the, um, uh, the engine of the growth of our country, uh, the more important other, uh, from all the past is that the private sector has really uh, take very uh, important role in this. So according to our calculation, uh, we need uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, mobilize the, uh, the, the fund for the development uh, to be uh, to to achieve the growth at uh, eight eight percent uh, annually, we need about thirty percent of the uh, fund, thirty uh, percent of the GDP to raise up this uh, uh, economy growth. And in that, uh, nearly eighteen to twenty percent we uh, uh, expect from the private sector, and and uh, from the past that it really uh, the. Uh, uh, private uh, sector make a uh, very uh, important role on that and they exceed uh, nearly 20-22% where the government take part only uh, somehow 10 or 12% uh, to uh, uh, boot the growth in our country. So <coughs> in this case I think uh, private sector uh, uh, such as uh, foreign direct investment uh, can be uh, the first priority for the Lao government to be promoted in the various areas. So, um, my colleagues had a little bit uh, uh, talk about the potential opportunity in investing in our country already. So we have, as I said, that we have more or less uh, political and economic stable in our country for a for, for long time. So. Uh, uh, 2030, we joined a member of the WTO that is uh, uh, helping our country a lot. Uh, from the 1st January 2015, we will be a full member of the AEC. AEC is called ASEAN Economic Community. Uh, that will be a more flow of goods and uh, trade and investment. So, uh, ASEAN can be changed uh, 
you know, some uh, stating uh, the, uh, you know, position uh, together as a block in, in this uh, Southeast Asia country. So, and also uh, uh, for the Laos, we have a GSP with more than 40 countries in the world. So we have very high potential on the export. We have natural resources, we have uh, sheep labor here, we have, uh, you know, not too expensive energy and the land area. Uh, according to our data, that uh, we have land available for the plantation uh, nearly 2 million hectares. My colleague from Ministry of Agriculture maybe <laughs> will uh, elaborate this more. And uh, just only for the China, uh, they need to know the products, the rice from our country, nearly 5 million tons uh, per year. But according to our capacity, we can produce only 3 million tons. So this is also the gap that we can uh, talk uh, uh, together among the uh, business from the Lao side and uh, India side, how we can cooperate in that. Ministry of Planning and Investment will uh, encourage and facilitate uh, on this kind of the cooperation. We also have a very high potential of the uh, electricity uh, uh, development. We have capacity nearly 20,000 megawatt. And only in Thailand, they need, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, more than 12,000 annually to import. But we cannot produce uh, more than that, that uh, for, for this type of Even we have a lot of project. So for the mining, for the mining also, the government uh, is expecting to um, announce very clear policy on the mining development after uh, 2015. For this type A, we have a revision of the uh, ex existing uh, company who got known the exploration, who got the agreement, who got the MOU with the government, and some of the company are not run properly. So we should uh, uh, do something with that, and then we will announce uh, the clear policy on this the mining uh, sector. And uh, for the Laos, we have also a high potential on the industry, uh, I mean the uh, uh, tourist industry. 2013, uh, we have award the world best destination by the uh, Chamber of Commerce of the uh, European Union. So uh, nearly more than uh, 3.5 million uh, tourists are coming to Laos. We have uh, 6 million persons. Uh, I mean population in Laos, so we, two percent of Laos have to uh, take care of one uh, tourist from abroad. So I think, and then the trend, the uh, trend is uh, more increasing uh, year by year. Uh, since we opened up the, uh, you know, airline and all this uh, transport, transportation facility. So those of this, we have very high potential to talk uh, uh, among the business person. And uh, I see uh, my colleagues from the private sector, uh, a lot of uh, very uh, big company here, you have a potential to discuss. And uh, Ministry of, Ministry of uh, Planning and Investment are ready to help you, to assist you, uh, in order to uh, make your cooperation, uh, you know, successful. I mean, of course, for the enterprise to get more benefit for the government to get more the tax collection <laughs> so uh, in this uh, opportunity I uh, again uh, would like to on behalf of the Ministry of Planning and Investment uh, wish this uh, uh, seminar be success and we are ready to cooperate with you thank you very much <laughs>